I am glad you could join me for prayer today. I thought we'd use the scripture from the devotional I um, gave to you all. It's from Mark 1, 40 through 45. A leper came to him begging him and kneeling. He said to him, if you choose, you can make me clean. Moved with pity. Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him and said, I do choose, be made clean. Immediately the leprosy left him and he was made clean. After sternly warning him, he sent him away at once saying, see that you say nothing to anyone, but go show yourself to the priest and offer your cleansing for your cleansing what Moses commanded as a testimony to them. But he went out and began to proclaim it freely and to spread the word so that Jesus could no longer go in town openly, but stayed out in the country and people came to him from every quarter. But he went out and began to proclaim it freely, to spread the word. Behind me you can see my favorite flower started blooming yet. It blooms usually right around this time of year, usually next week. And you can start to see the hints of yellow that will be coming out. It's a sunflower called um, Maximilian Santa Fe. And it produces flowers at every joint. But it hasn't started blooming yet. And it's much taller than normal. Normally, when I would be sitting here, it would be like about my shoulder. This year it's extra tall, which means that it's going to have extra blooms on the flowers. It's going to be spectacular once it starts blooming. Sort of like that man in the story. He was having a hard time blooming. He was kept apart from everyone else. He was seen as different, as unworthy, as not part of the community. And so he asked Jesus to do something about that, to, to make him clean. And so Jesus had pity on him, had compassion on him, looked at him with love, and healed him. And then he told the man not to say a word about it, but to go do what you needed to do so that you would be right with your community. You would be right with the rest of the society. But instead, he went out and shared the word. He spread it far and wide. He spoke the word extravagantly. Sort of like my flowers, my sunflowers. They are gonna be spectacular this year. They are going to bloom in a way that they haven't bloomed before. But not yet. Right now, we're like that man just before, just before Jesus has compassion on him. So I invite you to close your eyes. And I want you to think about how you could bloom. What would happen to you if you were made well? How would you shine? How would you throw out blossoms in a way that you haven't before? So picture in your head the ways you could bloom. Holy One of God, we ask you to have compassion upon us. Show us the ways that we can bloom. Show us the places and people that need us to bloom. And Holy One of God, we ask you to have compassion upon those we know that are struggling right now. Those who are hurting. Those who are lonely. Those who are seeking your presence, 
Holy One of God, show them the bud. Help their bud to be nourished so that they can grow and bloom. Have compassion upon them. Amen.